How are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Today we're going to be showing off a demonstration on our Luminous Ambient Light Rejection. This is the Silver Eclipse Screen Paint. Now we wanted a screen paint that was going to be dark. What before we dark silver, one was going to be a light silver, one was going to be black. And there's the screen paint right there. Now we're going to be doing this, if I get the focus to act right, we're going to be doing this at around our measuring tape. I like to show measuring tape at 12 feet away from the screen in a fully lit environment as always. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to apply this onto your drywall. Now keep in mind you can paint this on any surface you want. Just because you see me paint it on drywall doesn't mean you can't paint it on plexiglass, sheet metal, wood, or anything else you can think of. Now this projector right here is a little interesting, isn't it? I call it extreme long throw because in order for me to get 138 inches out of this projector, I have to be around 18 feet back or 21 feet or more. So very interesting projector, absolutely loving it because this will allow me to do a lot of distance demonstrations, which is needed when it's done for commercial properties or for a lot of churches where basically the projector is going to sit back like 21 feet or so or so forth. All right, so this is the screen paint right here, and as I said before, we wanted something to add to the three. Now, first, it was going to be two, but something was missing. We need to have a dark silver screen paint. Now we have it right here, and this is what we're using today: the Illuminous Ambient Light Rejection. This is our Silver Eclipse Cinema Paint using ambient light projection technology gain times three all right so I'm gonna pop this open all right pour some of this right here all right so all right and we're gonna put some of this on the roller now the roller doesn't make a difference because some people want to tell you that you have to have a, this kind of roller or that kind of roller you have to have a nap roll you have to put as much a foam roller or whatever and you have to go up and down in certain formations no, we're not going to do that here. So this is plexiglass. And this stuff will paint plexiglass. All right. So we're going to come over here. All right. And we're going to start painting the wall. This is a one coat application. That's it. Now, usually I use frog tape, but I ran out of frog tape. So I decided, since it's just a simple demonstration, I decided to just use some masking tape. I like to get my edges. I said before, this is a roll-on application. Get my roll-on, my edges first, like so. All right. And then over here, if I don't step in this, to the top. Oh, I just went over a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I went over a little bit. I'm not worried about it. Got a little white. I'll go over that with some white. It happens. We all make mistakes. We're all human. Some people like to think I got a freaking battery coming out of my back. But anyway, let's go right here. All right, and we'll come over here and we'll start here. Like so. Sorry if I'm not allowed to see all that. I like to do my edges. This is how I do a screen. I do my edges first, and then I just color in. Can't say it's the same when it comes to coloring with my nieces and nephews. I think they do a better job than me. You know, coloring and stuff like that. All right, so let's see if my lens is up a little farther. I feel like my lens is all the way up. There we go. Okay. And then we're just going to do the middle area. That's basically about it. There we go. Okay, put a little bit more on the roller. It doesn't take much. Like I said, this is plexiglass. Look how easy this is rolling over on plexiglass. Like I said, it's designed for just about any kind of surface you can think of. And I don't have to do the whole up and down robot formation. You know what I mean? None of that nonsense. I just basically just go over the screen and that's it. That's all. And there we are. Nice and dry. Once that dries, well, actually, not nice and dry. Sorry about that wrong choice of words. I already painted. Okay. Come back on. 
That's all. To make sure I just got everything because me talking and everything else, sometimes I miss spots on my um, on my screen. So there we are. So well that's done. There's some plexiglass right there. So I guess they're very easy to coat over everything on and stuff. You can coat over anything you want with this. And that's the plexiglass. Alright, so that's all done and well. So let's come over here and let's pop our projector on. All right. That's it, I'm done. And like I said, we're doing this in a fully lit room with the projector about 12 feet from the screen. Look how beautiful that looks. That's why, like I said, with the, um, the, uh, the, um, ooh, lost words here for a minute. That's why with that Eclipse Silver, or Silver Eclipse, or Silver Eclipse, that's what it's called, I keep forgetting that. The Silver Eclipse, it has the ability to be able to pull out the best from your projector. And keep in mind, it has the ability to actually perform white levels and black levels at the same time. Looks like I painted a TV on my wall. Like I do upstairs, anywhere I move in this environment, that screen is going to come up. Now this is available now on our website. We have it available now. We have it available in one quart, two gallons, sorry, sorry, one quart, two quarts, and one gallon. Two gallons are not available yet. Oops, that's me kicking the measuring tape as always. Just in case my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game 2 and 3. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Let me play a little more in, but just in case my time runs out on my camera. Keep in mind, my projector is WXGA. It's not even 4K. It's at 1080i, not even full 1080p. This, this projector has something called a lens shift. 
So the lens shift will allow me to move this, the screen over. This is your white wall. This is our technology. See how faded the picture looks? 